I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. I am Pastor David Vandy of the Vandy Christian Network. And today I bring you a word from the book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 9. For you are the Lord most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, today we acknowledge the glory of God. And we proclaim the greatness of his power and give honor and glory to his holy name. Psalm 97 emphasizes God's glory together with his holiness, his eternal righteousness, his blameless justice, and his sovereign authority. But it also speaks of his awesome judgment and justified wrath. For those of us who love the Lord, are reminded that our God is far above all and elevated above all the gods. Men may foolishly honor some created entity, but God alone is the sovereign Lord of the heavens and the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and the earth shows forth his handiwork. The people see his glory. The mountains melt at his presence. Clouds and thick darkness surround him, while righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. My brothers and sisters, there is nothing to compare with our God, and we are summoned to rejoice in his omnipotence. Our joy in the Lord is not to be based on fear, but out of love for all that he has done for us. We are to rejoice in the Lord and be glad in him, for he is the Lord, the Most High over all the earth, and our God is exalted far above all gods. The word of God clearly tells us that the Lord our God is one. One God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the only way to God the Father is through faith in God the Son. The perfect Lamb of God who died on the cross to pay the full price for the sins of this world. And access to his throne room of grace is through the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit who comes to live within the body of all who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, the church for the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. Today, my brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ is seated on his Father's throne in heaven. He is acting as our risen, ascended, glorified high priest. He is continually interceding for his church and has become our holy, heavenly mediator before our God and Father. Today, the enemy is like a roaring lion who is prowling around, accusing the saints and seeking to destroy the faith of all those who have trusted Christ for the forgiveness of sins. But a day is coming. A day is coming when the Lord Jesus Christ will return to take his ruling position on this earth and establish his authority on the throne of his Father. He will judge the world with equity and truth. He will place all his adversaries under his feet. He will rule the nations with a rod of iron, but he will rule in righteousness and peace. And there will be worldwide rejoicing when Jesus Christ will return to set up his millennial kingdom here on this earth. My brothers and sisters, the opening verse of Psalm 97, the Lord reigns that the earth be glad 
Let the distant shore rejoice. It's anticipating that day when Jesus Christ returns to claim his rightful position as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It speaks of that glorious day when Christ returned to govern the world. The earth that was groaning under the weight of sin will be glad on that day. The distant island will be joyful because the long-awaited rule of Christ will have arrived and Jesus will take up his rightful position on the throne of his father David. The return of Christ is thrilling for those who believe. But for those who reject God's offer of salvation, it is a time of awesome judgment when God's justified wrath must be poured out in fullest measure on a God-hating, Christ-rejecting sinful world. The contrast between the rejoicing, righteous and condemning sinner is heightened by the rolling clouds and thick darkness of God's consuming judgment, for He is the Most High Lord over all the earth, and He is exalted above all gods. My brothers and sisters, time is too short. The return of the Lord is imminent. Let us tell forth the glory of his name. The wonderful works that he has done and the great salvation that is offered freely to all who believe. And let us warn of the thick darkness and consuming judgment that must befall all who reject his offer of salvation. And so, Heavenly Father, what a great and mighty God you are. For you created the world by the might of your great power and are exalted above all gods. And what a wonderful Savior you are to send your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the sacrificial offering for my sin and for the sins of all mankind. Lord God, there are many souls in the world today who have not trusted in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and are destined for thick darkness, consuming judgment and eternal separation from you. If they do not trust in Christ for salvation, look down in pity on those who are unsaved and may your Holy Spirit convict them of sin, righteousness and judgment for the sake of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.